So earlier on today I did a video about hop shoots and I said the only thing I've known people, I've had messages from people and had people ask me um, to, to mistake hop shoots for are these. Um, and you can see why, they're, they're on a vine um, and they've got the kind of leaves up and pointing towards the end. As we go down the vine start to see that the leaves are very very different they look almost like bindweed leaves they're very heart shaped these are shinier than bindweed I'd say really show-offy um, and on this vine as I said before you get these little I think these are still in bud even but they're just tiny little strings of flowers that are just very low-key they don't shout at you, they're not big and blustery, there you go. They're just tiny little yellow flowers. Um, and quite easy to miss really. Um, as this gets older it will get berries, they start off as green and they become red. Um, on the stems, on the vine itself, you can see it is ridged but it's very smooth. There's no hairs at all, it's just a shiny smooth glabrous we call it uh, stem. And yeah, between that, uh, it slides up and down um, where the hop shoot will kind of catch on your skin because it's got these tiny little kind of hooked hairs. Um, all of those things, the leaves and the, the smoothness and these little flowers should be enough um, that you can easily differentiate between the two. So I thought it was worth covering this just for the people who are concerned about hop shoots because um, this is poisonous, black briony is poisonous. Um, yeah, do press like and subscribe and uh, enjoy your foraging and feel free if you're local to book a place on a course. We'll be doing them every month until things stop growing. <laughs>